Family, friends, and neighbors in Grand Rapids gathered to remember 16-year-old Joseph Ivory Jr., who police say died from a gunshot wound despite efforts to save him. News 8's David Horak was at the vigil and tells us his story through their words. Joseph Ivory Jr.'s family told me he was selective with who he trusted, but for those who made the cut and got to know JoJo, he was an outgoing force in bringing them joy and making them laugh along the way. I'm going to miss his lives, his FaceTime calls. We sat on FaceTime for like three hours just, just to make me laugh. Like when my granny passed away, he was there for me. On the family tree, JoJo was Jayla Luckett's cousin. But to her, he too was her brother from the very beginning. We grew up like potty chain, like we was in diapers together. And through every twist and turn of life, Luckett says he was all eyes and ears for the people he cared for most. Keep your head up. Like, he's telling me, like, if you need me, I'm here for you. Like, he was just a fun person to be around no matter where. You could bring him anywhere. He, he put a smile on everybody's faces where he was at. Together, Tana Peathers and Ivory Jr. brought little Khalil into the world. He'll turn 10 months old Wednesday without a father, but with many to help carry on his memory. I'm going to always make sure my baby knows who his dad is and how, like, I'm going to, he's going to be remembered for sure. Loving, caring, outgoing. Ivory Jr.'s loved ones say he may have lived 16 short years on this earth, but he is in their hearts forever. He, he was a real brother, friend, cousin, sip, sip, father. I love him so much. And along with his son, Ivory Jr. is survived by his parents and three sisters. Police do not have any suspects yet, so if you have any information that could help detectives, give GRPD or Silent Observer a call. And remember, you can remain anonymous. In studio, David Horak, News 8.